first responders taking action and saving lives. Cincinnati police will hold a ceremony for those responding to the Fifth Third Center shooting last month. Nine on your side reporter TJ Parker is live at Fountain Square with what we can expect for this morning. TJ. Yeah, good morning, Julie. Cincinnati Police Chief Elliot Isaac, along with the rest of the department, will take time this morning to recognize those officers who responded to that shooting. They're already setting up here at Fountain Square where that ceremony will take place. A little later this morning, uh, the first responders, as well as people there who helped the injured, will also be recognized. And as evident from the body cam video, Isaac will honor those officers whose quick response and dedication directly helped with securing the scene and helping victims, ultimately saving many lives back on September 6th. Officers shooting through the window of the Fifth Third Center, killing the shooter. Unfortunately, three people did die along with the shooter, Luis Calderon, Richard Newcomer, and the youngest victim, Prudvi Raj Kandepi, all died. Kandepi was a consultant for Fifth Third Bank for three years. Fifth Third's vice president and digital product lending manager, Whitney Austin, was shot 12 times and survived, sharing her story with ABC News, saying she thought she was going to die. She says she was running late to work and people were waving for her not to go inside the building when she was shot back out here live. That event is open to the public here on Fountain Square and will take place this morning at 1115. We're live in Fountain Square this morning. I'm TJ Parker, 9 on your side.